Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Digital League Battle. This is Season 10, High Middle Ages, Division A. In this match, I have my Polish with Baltic Tribes Allies Army against Janjaw's German Imperial with Free Canton Allies. So, I've opted for a very risky strategy with my army composition. All in on super expensive knights and other cavalry. All in on impact foot, superior and average, just about one unit short. Um, one extra infantry skirmisher, and that's it. So it's a small melee army. If Yanya gets a whole bunch of these dismounted knights and sergeants, this could end very badly. <laughs> very, very badly. But if he has a number of these spearmen, or if he's invested a bunch in crossbowmen, master archers, and the like, I might be able to just roll over them. So this is a match that might be won or lost just for my army composition. Next turn. What are we facing? Let's take a look. Sergeants for flank threat. Archers and crossbowmen at medium foot for these woods. A solid core of dismounted knights, defensive spearmen, more medium foot mounted crossbowmen for flank threat, and probably some more hidden stuff. Not a lot, but a few more. So, what's my response to this? Well, spread out and get these knights forward. Actually, why don't we move here so we can keep the Baltic foot moving straight. With no range component here, I'm not even going to try to weaken heavily armored dismounted knights with light archers, but instead shift my light archers over to each wing to stop my cavalry from being shot up too badly. Then, two more units to spread out there, so we will want to spread our own infantry out. Then what? Mount to crossbowmen. Get some infantry support over. So we'll spread out into a thinner line, keeping these knights moving in open country. Our own mounted crossbowmen, do we want them left or right? I think I want them on the right. Leaving four tiles here. in and shift over. Bit of a mess. We'll clean up before we make contact. Next turn. Right then, we'll need to extend our line, get to the edge of the map to at least threaten to work our way around. Good. Need to assist in skirmishing here. Stretch out. Stretch out. Alright, we need to match the length of this line even though we have fewer units. 
Next turn. Yenya says, I've learned the hard way that lights and missile troops are not as useful as they are in ancients. Too much armor on the battlefield. Yeah, I think that's true. And also, some units were made cheaper in medieval than in ancients, and lights were not among them. How are we going to do this? Attack here, maybe? Don't really like the idea of getting close to all these missile troops with my knights, but it might come down to that. Next turn. Okay, the noble cavalry is just going to be annoying and hopefully not get shot to pieces by whatever is lurking in there. Send our greetings. We got crossbowmen. Of course, what we could do is at these sergeants. That seems all right. Yeah, let's commence skirmishing and see how that goes first. Next turn. Cavalry moving to the flank. Okay, well, let's move one tile and shoot and shoot. Good. Circle around. Maybe there. Eh, no, this is good. Start harassing the mounted crossbowmen. Now what I have to do is decide. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Hold firm. So as they move down, do we follow or do we stay where we are? Well, let's move here and, oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we'll have peace and quiet. Uh, right, what was I doing before all that commotion? 
figuring out what to do here. Do you push into impact range? Yeah, I suppose we might as well. bit foolish, but I don't want to just sit statically and wait for him to attack, so might as well go ahead while we're putting extra pressure on this left wing. Next turn, closer to contact. Fade, yeah, I thought that might happen. Interesting. Maybe then we'll ignore this withdrawal and push everything onto here that we can. Oop. Well. First off, we can shoot and shoot again. Then we can, uh, tempting, but no. Threaten the charge, good. Then what? Try for that. Good. And I suppose we can go for impact charges. Too bad. Hopefully in the situations where we lose in the melee, we can fall back while holding firm. Not bad. A few disruptions. Now do I go for this break and then the pursuit, or do I hold steady here? If I hold steady, I could get shot at. But if I charge, I'll be out of the picture. Let's... Be bold. Okay, good. Then, what? Ignore this, I assume? Just work our way around. Like so. Keep the line together, not get too far ahead of our infantry support. It's annoying, I can either choose to follow here or shift back over to prevent the mounted crossbowmen from getting too far behind, and I think I need to do that. I can't afford to have them just running around in our rear. Zone them in. Stay facing away here. Don't want them to be able to charge our Baltic foot. At least not yet. Alright, let's see if we can gain any advantage here. These medium foot could disrupt. 45 to lose, 35 to lose, but hopefully they'll just hold firm and fall back.
Next turn, let's see how these melees shake out. Yeah, I figured he'd go for that. Ooh, double drop. Both hold firm. He keeps moving away. I can shift this line down, ignore this bunch, and focus everyone in on his left wing. That might be the thing to do to prevent that flank, of course. Fair enough. Well, let's go for a break here. Shove them off. They're very annoying. And a break. Well, you're going to have a very bad day. Okay, then what? Maybe a double drop? You never know. Except when you do. Now I could charge for the flank here, but then we'll get flanked. But then again, we're not going to beat these guys head on anyway. So, let's first... No. Well, get the drop. Okay, so he'll flank us. Hopefully we don't double drop and infect the others with panic. Always a possibility. Then what? Could try to get him behind. That could be spicy. Crossbowman though. Mm. That is annoying. Let's just go in and see what happens. That is unfortunate. Well, push forward then. Push forward. Get ready for flank work. I think. Ah, uh, let's let's follow it up here. But keep pushing down towards the other wing. And throw in some more arrows. Cut them off. Here we just have to charge and hope that general get a crucial influence. Damn, I shouldn't have done that charge. I should have set up a flank here. Now I'll have to wait for anything like that. Huh. Well, let's see what that break does for us before we commit to anything reckless. Next turn. Oh. That is highly unfortunate. And we disrupted. I was hoping we'd hold firm and fall back, but not to be. Ouch. Okay, does that do anything for us? No, it does not. Cool. Um, go for an impact charge. Tempting. In fact, 
other possibilities we go here and flank dismounted knights and sergeants. Let's hmm. live in a world of possibilities here. Go for impact. Good. Go for impact. Hold firm, too bad. Break, yeah. Um, oh, it is too tempting. I think it's too tempting. It was too tempting. Well worth it, I think. Breaking up a unit that tough. Okay, gear up for the charge. Push forward into this zone now. Hopefully you don't spread panic everywhere. Not yet. This is unfortunate. We hold out. Ugh. Terrible. Okay, then what? We could set up a flank on this unit. Or either unit, really. We'll have to endure a volley of crossbow fire. That's too bad. Alright. Keep this infantry running off. Get spearmen forward to support. Then next turn, we can start threatening charges here, I think. We'll see. I'm hoping if we just hold out for a little longer here, we can break these knights and then roll up this line. That would do a great deal of damage. Next turn. We've gained a modest lead, but there's Plenty of scope for things to go wrong still. Things like that. And that, depending on what that does. Nope, we held firm. It does drop our lead to not really a lead at all. Revealed, not really a big deal. Okay. Well, so he's turned here so that my threat of a flank attack is no longer a threat of a flank attack. We'll have to consider some risky moves, but first. Consider how much to hold back here and how much to move forward. The situation is unfortunate. Go for the break. Good. And try for a disrupt. Held firm. Too bad. Oh, we lucked out. Do we luck out again? Absolutely not. Oh, we do. Great. Okay, that buys us a bit of time. Not a lot, but a bit. 
So if I do... Okay, this is going to be a complicated. First, we do this. That leaves us at a down 160 POA. We move here. We can try for a frontal charge. It's probably not going to work, but we try. They hold firm. So instead, we charge again. And next turn, we'll be able to flank, although we'll still lose this unit, which is unfortunate. Good. These crossbowmen are pretty well protected. Huh. try for a charge, but we'll probably bounce, and even if we don't, we'll get surrounded, so I don't think that would be the thing to do. We can shuffle forward here. And form up. Run away. Keep on these mounted crossbowmen. Get our archers back. Now, what can I do to actually be doing something with these guys? I think, unfortunately, the best thing to do would be to wait until this unit is broken up so that I can rush past. Uh, so I can only hope that this doesn't collapse right away, or that these knights start rolling this up. That would be the next best thing. The other thing I could do is simply give up on this unit, ship this unit over, like so, try for an impact charge, they hold firm. <sighs> okay, we've gone back up to a modest lead. Next turn. Let's see how much our poor Baltic foot here suffers. Oh, we did follow up, and uh, didn't quite follow through. Good, we held on, and held on. Break them quick, or else we'll be in trouble. Good. If we charge here, we could probably break and then follow up into these knights. So we're going to do that. Yep. Good. Keep that up. Get a flank in. Good. Very good. Uh, let's see if we charge here. Maybe we would pursue, follow up into, yes, the crossbowmen who disrupt. Perfect. And then if we break these guys, maybe they'll break as well. They'll have to wait a turn. Okay, next, let's. If we do it. Okay, let's see. Uh, that in. What does it do for us? They hold firm. That's not surprising. They're very tough troops. And in the meantime, our Baltic foot will suffer. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to charge here. If I did charge, then I wouldn't be able to use these spears to sort of control lock these spears and prevent a flank on my knights. But on the other hand, just sitting here doing nothing seems bad too.
Ugh, that's not actually very good because the general only 50% here. Set up that zone. Oh, that's risky if this fails somehow, so in you go. Did not go well. Now set up that zone. There. Let's take a risk. It works. Good. And now what? Stand here for the moment. I'm not going to charge yet because I want to have him decide whether he wants to move closer to map edge where I can push him off or turn and shoot when I can charge. Okay. Um, hmm. Damn, they're out of the out of the fire arc. And I could do that kind of thing. Would that do any good though? Not yet. I think I'd rather keep these guys here so no matter what he does, I can attempt to rear charges. He might charge here, probably tank the cohesion check, and then force me into a melee, at which point I would have to charge my knights here, which would be too bad. You start threatening these units. Okay, we are looking good now. But there's still scope for some things to go wrong. Yanyo says, I think that is the end. Troop selection did for me in this battle. Even more knights and less medium foot. GG. Really? Is it GG? I feel like I still have a bit to go. Let's find out. Setting up that flank makes sense. Ugh, lucky. Lucky. Also lucky. Wow, we were down 50 POA in that interaction. They break? Come on. Ugh. Those dismounted knights are so tough. Impact? Very nice. Very nice. Ah. Uh, there's the break that we needed. Charge, held firm. Okay, well, that worked out. Uh, yeah, I think army comp was a big part of this. I think the dismounted knights were great though. They were a huge threat to my infantry and they had a little bit more time. I think they could have done some serious damage with this sort of thing and engaging more of my infantry. I mean, look at these guys, they're disrupted, fighting two units of mounted knights, and they're I mean they're not doing great, but they're holding on and there's a decent chance they'd rally to steady. Uh in terms of macro maneuver, I think yeah, the army composition played a big part here because Yanyo had so many medium foot that they had to be scared of my knights supported by impact foot and move away. But by doing so he freed up more of my units to strike here. And then he got sucked back in, but it was too late, and of course medium foot lack that plus one to cohesion of heavy foot, so this sort of thing can happen. Ouch. Uh, you know, I probably would have tried to break this unit, see if I spread panic and unlock my swordsman POA before charging you with the picked Baltic foot. Uh, and then, you know, this situation, I mean these units are just dooms now, frad crossbowmen. I probably would have charged with the light horse to pin the sergeants, or maybe hit the dismounted knights and pursue into the archers and see what happened. So, yeah, you know, this is one of the few battles I fought so far this league season where I felt like my investment in knights was actually worth it. A nice, flat, open plane. That helps. 
So, a good game to Yanyao, as always. Till next time.